In today's video, I'm sharing some Christmas decor thrift flips. My name is Leah, and this is Junker Necker DIY, where I share new budget decor videos every week. On my channel, you'll see things like Pinterest projects, thrift flips, Dollar Tree DIYs, and trash to treasure crafting. I also occasionally share shopping hauls. If these things interest you, please subscribe. I found this guy for only 25 cents because he's got a little chip, but I'm not going to use this mug to drink out of. I want to use it as decor on my coffee bar. So, I'm going to fix that chipped place by adding some black acrylic paint where the glove was broken off and then some white chalk paint where the cuff of his sleeve broke off. Once they dried, they were matte, so I had to go over those places with some gloss Mod Podge to make it more seamless. Now, I turned him upside down and traced all around the top of his head because I'm going to use the faux whipped cream method that I'm sure all of you have seen at least a couple of times. But I'm cutting out this piece of cardboard, actually from an old Christmas box, and it doesn't have to be completely circle perfectly. You just need it where it won't fall down into the mug. So I scooped out some lightweight spackle and added some white paint because the spackle is kind of gray looking. And then I filled up my baker's bag. I'm not sure what those are called. Frosting bag? And then I didn't get it filmed, but you'll see in the top there that I had cut a styrofoam ball in half and glued it down to the piece of cardboard so I wouldn't have to put all spackling all the way up. I just filled in some space. And yeah, I just started frosting like you would a cupcake or a cake, layering it up until I used all that was in the bag. And then I came in with a piece of a peppermint stripe straw that I had. Just stuck it right in and just tapped the end of it with my scissors so it would kind of go into the styrofoam just a bit and not move. And there's how he looks now. I'm quite happy with myself. The frosting still looks a little gray. I may go back over that with some more white. Eight. Today's video is part of a playlist that's the 4th Friday Open Challenge hosted every month by Sarah from Juju B DIY and Lisa from Our Gray House. I'll be leaving links to both their channels as well as a link to this playlist below in the descriptions. Now let's get back to crafting. I picked this up after Christmas last year on a 75% off sale. Very 80s looking. I got it for 50 cents, but I needed to strip it all the way down. Once I got all the embellishments off, which by the way weren't so easy to do, I thought I was going to have to get a full on crowbar in there, but I finally got everything stripped off and I come in with the Waverly white chalk paint and painted the entire piece. And it did take two coats to cover that dark color. Now I'm going to use a little piece of this Dollar Tree calendar. I'm taking that square that's on the back that shows the preview of what the pages look like because I just wanted a little something on there. And I trim that down. There goes the cat. Now to stick it down, I'm going to use Mod Podge. But it's my special, beautiful, sparkle Mod Podge. And you'll see I'm almost out. I'm going to have to get some more. I brush that over the entire top area. All of that flat area there. 
And Sparkle Mod Podge gives a little bit of shimmer without being an in-your-face glittery look. Once I had it spread all the way around, I stuck that little Let It Snow piece of paper there. And put a little on top of that as well. Next, I'm putting a piece of ribbon. This I got last year at Dollar Tree, I believe, or Family Dollar. Anyway, I would love to find some more this year. It's just a sheer ribbon with a little sparkly snowflake detail on there. And next, I come in with a few pieces of this. It's called Decorative Filler from Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to mimic the picture that I decoupaged on there with a few little sprigs of stuff. So I'm going to hot glue those into place. And then we'll call this finished. So cute. I took it from 1980 to 2020, just like that, with some paint and embellishing. See that little bit of shimmer on the Sparkle Mod Podge? Now this I picked up for 59 cents. It's a wooden piece as well. And it says FTD 1985 in the bottom. I'm going to freshen it up. And you'll see when I first start painting with this white how dingy it has yellowed over the years. Look at that. What a big difference. Anyway, I, I painted the entire piece. And I had to come in with a smaller brush to get down in those grooves. I did not want to leave that yellowy color. And I only did one coat because I'm going to put the detail back on there. I used Flag Red and New Shamrock. And it's going to look like a new penny. I put some peppermints in there, and it's going to sit on the table beside my chair. So I can just reach in and grab a peppermint anytime I want one. Isn't that pretty? I think it looks so good. So good. So last but definitely not least, I picked up this last year for 75% off as well, a three-piece nativity scene, and I love the opalescent look to it, but I have cats, as you've seen, and they tend to like to knock things off of tables, so I'm going to use this book that I also thrifted, and... I'm going to use it as a riser, so to speak, to put my scene on top of. I'm only painting the spine of this book because I do like the gray and the muted green color that's already on there. And I'm going to take out some of these metal words from Dollar Tree. And I started to put peace on there, but I changed it. I was like, mm-mm, believe is something we need more of right now believe I tacked it down with some hot glue using Gorilla Glue Sticks and then all I had to do after that was to glue down my figures All this tied in so well with each other from the metal believe word and the gray on the binding and then that opalescent look just picks up that light green beautifully thank you so much for watching my video today I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you go and check out the playlist to see what everyone else has done today until next time bye bye